So which of these is a symptom of male midlife crisis? Is it buying a fast motorbike, leaving your wife, or getting a hair transplant? The answer is all three. First, though, your thoughts on men who won't grow up, the middle-aged fellas or older who carry on like overgrown schoolboys, shunning any sense of responsibility, and, as to be said, in many cases, dumping the wife of many a year for a younger model. Men like <gasps> Rolling Stone Ronnie Wood, who's front-page news for walking out on wife Joe, who's been with more than 30 years, to hang out with a 19-year-old Russian chick he met in a escort bar. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two ways of looking at this. Yeah. Perhaps. One, he's a sad old man of 61 who drinks too much and has lost the plot. He's acted like a fool, breaking his wife's heart, midlife crisis, blah, 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 blah. Or two, he doesn't want to feel old. Who does? He wants to be Peter Pan. Why shouldn't he get himself a new girlfriend who's 42 years his junior if he wants one? Wouldn't you do the same if you had the chance? And Ronnie's not the only one. They're all at it. In the past few days alone, Salman Rushdie, 61, has been linked with a 27-year-old Bollywood star called Rhea Sen. 68-year-old Patrick Stewart moaned that he only dates younger women because he never meets any woman his own age, Jimmy Hill. <laughs> He's just split from actress Lisa Dillon, who at 39 was nearly 30 years his junior. They are all at it. But can you blame them? Psychologists say men are actually happiest in their mid-60s. Wow. And that carefree, that carefree feeling makes them desire a younger lover, and older fellas apparently want more sex than older ladies, so it's not our fault. It's entirely yeah. natural. Ugh. A couple of hundred years ago, we'd have died of old age by our mid-40s. Now we live to twice that, so maybe human relationships aren't supposed to last 30 years or more. Maybe... I'm going to go back to you, Carol, on this. I know, you're, uh, he's winding me up like a top here. Well, I'm, uh, I'm ready to blow now. <laughs> This is, you know, this is absolutely pathetic. It's very interesting that, that this, this phenomenon largely happens between, uh, it's usually rich men, because they know they can get away with it. Well, it's a lot of men. It's, pa it's of pathetic men. that an older bloke can imagine that a young, good-looking girl of 22 is going out them because they're A, interesting, B, a fantastic lover. I mean, <coughs> Ronnie Wood... Ronnie question. Wood, exactly. <laughs> Ronnie Wood is the ugliest man on the planet. He's drinking Are two bottles... Of no, um, no, he hasn't. He's an... Listen... Trust me, <laughs> he's not. He's, the ugly, he's, drinking, he's drinking two bottles of vodka a day, so he can neither be a good lover or terribly interesting. And this girl, when she first met him, um, told him to go and, and, and procreate because she didn't know he was a rich rocker. The minute she found out he was a rolling stone, she was all over him like a rash, oh. and she's telling people... I'm in love for the first time in my life. I've never felt like Maybe this before. Maybe she's a fan oh. of the Rolling Stones. Yeah. No, she's never heard it. of them. She's never heard of them. No idea. Somebody said he's a multi-millionaire and he's leaving Roddy Wood out. Leaving Roddy Wood out of this, lots of men do leave their wives after a, a, a long period of time in their fifties. If it's their, if if we only have one life, do you really want to spend the autoln period, the autumn winter well, period? You, you, the same you, you, you are talking that life is totally based on sex. It isn't. You know well, what happens it. about love? Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, no, God, it is no, not. No, don't tell me that now. <laughs> no, I think men are much more vain than women in general. Yes, men, they are. Men, they totally. are. They need to feel that they want to be young. Men's the gay community is is absolutely oh. hangs on. Looking young, and you know all about this, I do. right? You're, you're you're an honorary member. I have to fight them off. You're a chorus boy. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think that men's bodies are ornamental. They are. They're 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 not necessary anymore, right? We don't need what? men to procreate. Well, we don't. You don't. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I think men see themselves as sort of kind of a, a, a something that's not really necessary. They they want to feel prettier. They something that is on their right makes them look better, they right? They want to feel valid, useful. Well, they do. Yes, but it doesn't. It makes them look sad and pathetic. And and I I, I don't mind not to older their men. I don't mind rich older men who say, and I've met them who say, I do this because I can. And but and the ones that know that the girls are sleeping with them for money. That I I actually think that's quite smart. But the ones that are really pathetic are the ones that actually think they're interesting and gorgeous and yeah, sexy because yeah. they're not. Been they're just rich. Fans for 30 Five years, he's used to it. He probably Careful thought, you know, I'm going to give him this. Bad turn of phrase, that one. I'm going to No, but but I think also men's sex. That's the uh, fallacy. I think men's sexual peak ends at around 20. Take yeah. my word for it. Women's sexual peak goes on and on and on. Actually, his peak is long, long past. But right? I, I think that Howard Marshall, the billionaire that married that oh, silly floozy. Yeah, exactly. uh, uh, now I reckon he died with a smile on his face, and I think that's probably the most important thing of all, isn't it? Maybe he and his wife Ronnie would have had an end to it anyway. Maybe they were. It was over for. Hey, you're anyway. staying very quiet on this one. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning a lot.
Uh, it's interesting. I mean, obviously, the third way of looking at the Ronnie Wood thing is it's none of our business. Uh, oh, but uh, it is interesting that um, it's an interesting thought to me that my mistress, when I'm uh, a pensioner, isn't even born yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a very it, comforting a smile. That's a very comforting thought. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh, so, on a serious note? Do you, do you think it's a new phenomenon, this men being no, Peter, of course Peter Pan? It's as old as the hills. But you know what I'm and, uh, and, of course, you know, what we don't uh, read about uh, is that, you know, a lot of women get rid of their feckless, useless husbands because they think, kind but of pick up on what Scott was saying, you know, what's this useless bloke doing in my house? Yeah, Jim Wood will okay. take That's him back, though, and this yeah. is what's really annoying, because I know when, when he comes to his senses, or the minute he goes into rehab... Well, he's actually gone back to... He's flown in a private jet right. last night to see her, to beg her to take him back. Exactly. His wife? Because yeah, he's yeah. momentarily uh, sober. And also, so weak. But, you know, she actually... <laughs> she said something... Take a stance. <laughs> she said something in a paper recently. She said, I look after him, I, I feed him, I minister him, to him when he's sick. She's mad. She's, she's mad, yeah. exactly. She, she you should actually say to him, she I'm not taking you back. She should Tinkerbell or whatever the Peter Pan equivalent she should, thing is. She should. How weak is he? The thing is, I think young people are great to have sex with, but don't form a relationship with him. Like, if, if he likes... No, he's wealthy enough. Have the 19-year-old, buy her a flat, go visit her every couple of weeks when you can finally, you know, get that something going. That okay. messes then, on the Institute of okay. Marriage. Then everybody gets what they want, okay. right? Let, what? Let's throw it over to you. Peter Pan boys, what do we think of them? Uh, should men grow old disgracefully or what, Amy? We've got someone who doesn't think that you should have to grow up. It's Richard Online 1.